So first off, Sharanya, welcome and thank you for agreeing to be a part of Samandar Education Engagement Council's Global Initiative Series. So thanks a lot, and I hope you had a good day. So so how how are you? How are you doing? First of all, I'm doing well, thank you, and thank you for this warm welcome. So oh, what? It's my day is just starting, so <laughs> it's still early this week. No, so we are in this time difference, and we keep, you know, asking, is it possible to do and that? So thank you so much for giving this time. You know, we are actually glad that the team is really glad you gave us this time. Okay, I'm happy so, to do it. So just so people who will be watching this know, Sharanya is currently working in GT Grand Thornton, and she has seven years of working experience, and she is working in the commercial audit team, right? Okay, so welcome again. So Sharanya, if I had to like ask, you were working here in India and now you are working in UK. Let me emphasize on that. So how is the work culture different? Do you find it different? How is it? It is different. It's definitely different. People give more importance to their own time. They they're very particular about how they manage their work and their personal time. So the one thing that I really liked in UK or even in working in London is. even though it's one of the top cities in the world it doesn't give you that vibe because people are very they manage their time very well okay so right. in that way they are able to gain that work life balance which we've always been trying to achieve in india so <laughs> that is a huge difference i found and the second one is that because they, they give the time so much importance they do not entertain anything outside working hours so that is one huge difference that i found and something that i personally like right right absolutely i mean who wouldn't want to have that balance you know everyone with this covid thing and work from home everyone is like still trying to figure out the work and life balance you know so okay so when you started working there like all of, like from here there did you face any challenges road blocks or anything of that sort which you overcame yourself people are more outspoken this side we are not used to that way of conversating if when they do not have capacity to do any work they're very clear on that and from coming from an indian background and the way we work usually right. we tend to take up more work sure. so telling no is is a big for us it's always been that telling no is a huge drawback but right. here i see people that they would clearly say no and sometimes it you feel taken aback that okay you said no but we have a deadline but yeah that that kind of thing is a thing so people are very open and when they say yeah they're very clear in their communication so developing that was a challenge to me plus because when i was doing cpa it was a one and a half year gap and because of covid my time to give the exams and all that got postponed right so when i joined back work it was completely remote okay in fact till date i've hardly been to office twice okay. so not meeting people was another challenge but that was not because of uk or india work but right. in, in general what covid posed for me exactly. so having that remote connection and having to have those clear communications was was a bit challenging challenging right right so did you always want to like settle abroad when you were in india and studying did you always think or have this dream of wanting to move abroad anywhere not really but when when i started developing in my career i definitely wanted to gain a bit of international exposure but not in the sense of working abroad okay. but to gain more knowledge of how different gaps work how okay. the account or the audit field works in different countries Definitely, there was a mindset to gain international exposure, but never to settle down. Okay, so anyway, you are there and you are happy. I mean, you seem happy. You are glowing. So yeah, I'm sure something is right. So okay, so you know now, like you are working in the audit profile. I get that, but you have been working for seven years, so that's a lot of experience coming from an aspirant. So, what other profiles would you say are out there, specifically from a abroad perspective for CPA qualifieds from India? If I had to. There are quite a few profiles. Like I have another friend who has done CPA. Actually, she she did from Samandar. So she is doing US tax from London. So she is into taxations and other other related stuff. So 
there are a lot of companies which from UK they do US reporting. Okay. So you need accounts, personal finance team members. You also need a lot of people in the corporate finance market. Taxation is another field that people look for. Consulting is another. So audit comes one wing, and then the consulting part is also there. There are a lot of all of the big fours or big six have a consulting wing or have a US desk wing, where do any kind of support services for the US teams. So right. being a CPA will, will just add your chances of being more in those kind of teams and roles. Right. There are a lot of FP&A roles that do come up. So opportunity-wise, there is no shot. There is literally no no field that you could say CPA cannot explore on, or what an ACCA would explore here, a CPA can also explore there. So you know, the moment you say there is no lack of opportunities, I myself, being a CPA aspirant, I'm like, wow, I'm like smiling big. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to take the world, kind of a thing. Uh, okay, so. You know, now that you said there are no lack of opportunities, but like when we are just studying, like obviously the book knowledge will not take us far. So, according to you, like you working on that international level, what would you say is that additional thing as an aspirant people should be doing? I would say just just work on communications, work on communications and time management. I think from a knowledge perspective, whatever you gain through books is all what any fresher would gain. Exactly. If you've had experience, then it's good. It will help you in those initial months. But if you don't have experience, you will only struggle those first six months to settle in, to understand the ways of working or how in any field, not only in audit, but in any way. But if you are able to manage time, manage the projects that come your way and have a clear communication i think those are the key things anyone's looking for even when when i interviewed through big fours or the other companies all that they were their interview questions were all based on how do you manage your projects how do you manage your team how do you manage your time how do you ensure you manage others time so the questions are more on how you do your day to day things which are transferable which is not just right. useful for one job profile. So, right. and and if you're confident in your communications, then you've already won that 50% of the battle. It's not a huge thing. That is the only difference I've found. I've not found any. When, even when I work with the other colleagues here in UK, all of them have, whether you're a CPA, there are people who, who come from different countries. They, people who are chartered accountants from South Africa, say India, Bangladesh, Pakistan. You have many other people, people who do ACCA and many more countries. But you would see the knowledge as such is the same. It's it just right. increases by the, from your experience. But for a fresher, the knowledge is more or less the same. True, true, absolutely true. So if I may ask, like when you first started working in UK, like on which position did you start? Like was it still the audit profile? You started with the audit profile only. You started at which level? Out. Okay, so which level you started at in UK? I started as an assistant manager. Okay, great. So, so like since you have, you know, you have been working for seven years, so you saying that freshers have a short it means something it must be so you know thank you so much for saying so and, you know coming on a personal level do you have any plans of coming back to india now like you said you didn't have plans to go abroad so do you have okay. plans of coming back nothing that i can see for the next three four years but okay. what would happen in the future yeah no oh, no, so, so true. not uh, not the next three to four years but yeah the mindset is for now i think i'd stick to uk Great, great. So we are done. And I must say, thank you so much, Aranya. You, I mean, there are like a lot of craze here in India, like because US CPA shifted their exam base, like opened up, actually not shifted, opened up the base here in India. Like there have been tons of people wanting to do CPA, you know, and they have. And when they do CPA, they are like, they want to go abroad. Who doesn't, you know, like there'll be few people who, you know, maybe don't want to. So everything you said is bang on and you know we at Samantha SEC, the Samantha you know engagement council part of Samantha we you know wanted to do this but we let people know 
what is out there because we are just dreaming like as aspirants we are just thinking we want to go there but we don't yeah. know what is out there you know we need someone to guide us who's already in that environment who can you know tell us the reality back there so so we couldn't be happier we couldn't be glad we are really it's a pleasure it was a pleasure talking to you you know from my point of view i got this chance to talk to you so, no no you putting you putting me in a pedestal but <laughs> to be honest i'm happy to help out any any student any aspirant who wants to come abroad try their shot but it is tough to get a job but only when you keep trying it persistently right. you will end up somewhere it you see a lot of like i personally have a lot of indian friends who are cas cpas who have qualified from other countries chartered accountants and stuff but all of them have found a job here they right. they did they kept trying it's okay. it's not that people do not sponsor or people do not encourage it's just about you trying and having that patience i think persistence you know being persistent yeah. like not giving yeah. up you know no, you might no. give up for a day maybe but don't give up on your dreams that's that's, that's it. it exactly it's like you know thank you so much we might you know get hold of you again you know you know if no, you want to cool. definitely get something to know about specifically gt because you're working in gt so Thank you so much, Sharan. You have a great day. Thank you, Supriya. Thank you for taking time out this evening. Let me know if you want to record something or re-record something else. I can keep definitely. Up I I would. I would. Thank you for saying that. I would definitely get something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no you problem. Thank you. No so problem. Have a good. Yeah. Have a good. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.